What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Should we talk about Halloween ends in this video here again today and going on about the apparent reshoots that are supposed to be taking place in the near future, I guess very soon in Savannah since we know that's where Halloween ends was shot at. This has sent people into, well, some people I'll say, into the mentality of course, oh there's something wrong with the movie. Uh, I think this needs to go or needs to be said. Uh, as far as I know, because of the fact that I like to go in and out of just studying things, I probably really have no business studying. <laughs> Reshoots seem to be a common thing that happen with most productions. That Some productions, I would even say, maybe go as far as planning reshoots. Putting something in there where they already have planned reshoots prior to principal photography. Just in case. And then, of course, if they don't need the reshoots, they might not just do the reshoots. Some people think that they're trying to, I guess, reshoot the entire third act. Wasn't the entire third act of the 2018 movie reshot? And what did that end up being? That ended up doing very well at the box office. It was one of the most critically praised Halloween movies we've ever gotten in recent memory. And it led to us getting to where we're at now with this movie with Halloween Ends. Apparently, now I will say that where I'm gathering this from is from uh, its filming. And I'll leave a link to this in the, in the description, link to the article. So other things I've seen people again thinking that they're going to shoot the entire third act. The entire third act being reshot isn't a necessary reason to worry. It, it really isn't. This could have also been due to, from what I gathered in this article, if, if this again is what's going to actually take place, a test screening reaction where test audiences, I guess, maybe weren't happy with the third act. If that's the case and they're going to reshoot it for that, then that at least tells you that they're trying to make the best movie they can. And it doesn't mean that the entire third act was trash. It could just be a few things with it that they, of course, got some feedback about and they said, yeah, we can reshoot that and do it like this. Um... But then again, of course, that would lend to them wanting to, depending on what it is, it could be something that leads to them needing to reshoot the entire third act. That's just how it might be. And they're going to do that. Uh, I know a lot of people, they would love to see the original third act of what was shot for Halloween 2018. I don't even think that's still a thing we can yet see. I don't believe it was included on any home media release or anything. I th might be wrong. I know there's uh, actual descriptions of what apparently went on like michael got shot and apparently he just bled out like laying down on a tree or something that's the most of vagueness of what i remember or recall from those things and i know there's images already out there lori in her yard with the lights on with a knife ready to go with michael we don't see anything like those shots in the movie because they reshot the whole whole third act apparently so we'll see how this ends up impacting halloween ends i don't think this is something to really get too down about uh, just remember that again, reshoots, they're not uncommon. They don't instantly mean we have a bad movie on our hands. And this is just mostly coming from me, a person who thinks that Halloween Kills was a giant letdown. If anything, they, to me, maybe you should have shot something, reshot some things from Halloween Kills. Maybe the movie would have been a lot better if, if certain things, because what happens is, I guess the test audiences were so positive about Halloween Kills that of course they think oh we we have we have a hit on our hands and then you put it out and it's like it's getting panned left and right it's divided amongst most people some people like me still like the movie and will defend certain aspects of it because it's not the worst halloween movie but it's also just just clearly while it has some qualities that are better than the 2018 movie on a consistency level in terms of quality and just which movie was made better it's the 2018 movie um, you know, they, they definitely, I would say, need to tone down the humor in Halloween ends. And I guess we will be expecting to get that. We should expect to get that according to, again, what sources have told Phantom Empire. For those of you who watched my other videos where I talked about stuff like that. And again, just the reshoots and all that stuff. That's not, that's not new territory. Again, with Halloween Kills, no reshoots apparently were done because of how well received it was at test screenings, which in my mind, again, I think just shows you that maybe you shouldn't always just go off of that. You should always reconsider doing it for yourself, maybe, and not just the test audiences. But again, I'm not in the industry. I'm not going to be in charge of when reshoots do and don't happen. But I do know that, again, Halloween Kills got great test screening reactions. I actually did a video on it. But then the movie comes out and it's like, did these people watch the same movie we all watched? Or at least some of us, because me and a few others were like, what what happened here? Is this that same great movie that got those great test screening reactions? Because if so, maybe you needed a better uh, subject of people to watch that movie, <laughs> a better pool of individuals to watch the movie. 
um it was just a giant step down from the 2018 movie it was still adequately made and has a lot of stuff i will defend about it i'll always defend it if someone wants to argue that it's the worst halloween movie no not at all whatsoever uh, that is not going to halloween kills halloween kills is one of the more one of the more movies that are i would say yes definitely more focused on living up to its title because it, it does do that it's halloween kills you get a lot of very brutal memorable michael myers bloodshed going on and that alone is enough to at least make the movie enjoyable for me people like me too and passable for other people but it's not going to save it from all the other things i think went wrong with the reshoots that are apparently going to happen with halloween ends whatever it's related to i don't think this is again reason to then say oh we have a crap movie on our hands it also doesn't mean the movie won't be crap because what could happen is maybe you learn let's say we see the movie and it includes the reshot ending you learn what the original ending was and again remember how the test screenings reaction apparently this is what's causing these reshoots they're being negative what if the negative reactions to that test screening would have been positive with the final product and now the ending we're about to get is going to be the one that's panned by many more people because again the test screening test screening audiences they're not always going to be correct when it relates to when the movie is released and everyone else is going to see it so we'll see what happens it's going to happen of course in savannah since that's where this movie was shot where or who will be involved in these reshoots of course i would imagine that of course lends to david gordon green being back in savannah i would imagine jamie lee curtis will be back there as well so we'll end up getting to see maybe some new set photos or something of them reshooting whatever they're reshooting and we'll see how that all goes people think that this means we won't get the trailer this month i don't think this will have anything to do with us not seeing a trailer only off of the basis that you still have a collection of footage that can be com comprised into a trailer and release that or i guess if you have one that did include footage from your third act retool it in a way to then not have it there some people also think that maybe they're reshooting whenever this kitchen brawl happens for whatever reason or another so maybe the footage we see of that in this trailer will then not even be shown in the movie because it was a part of that third act that got reshot if the third act is indeed the thing being reshot we'll learn all of that soon enough the movie will be here in october and we'll all talk about it and have fun with it i'm sure uh, let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Never miss a video. In the description, I have links to social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.